base in New Orleans it's interesting because it's so small it's uh you know it's it's actually feels like it's the opposite of this you know preservation hall is very intimate it's like 70 people and uh and that's actually where we first met Mr. McCurry and his sons was down at preservation hall and uh the amazing thing about playing to to large audiences and taking the music all over the world is you every audience you play for you realize there's something that they all share in common no matter where you go in the world, that everybody has an appreciation for for expression and for for great music and for great entertainment. I think that's something that that that, that, that we all share in common. You know, Preservation Hall and and, and, and the McCurries. <laughs> That's it. We both did, you know. Like the bluegrass fans come and the, and the jazz fans come and, and they're introduced to something new. Both of them. Both are. It's the easiest part of it all, isn't it, Ben? Yes. You know, <laughs> that's the reason we. I think that's the reason we do it. At the end of the day, what we do, why we, you know, uh, make all the sacrifices in our lives, our personal lives, and the thing, and and the, with the traveling and the and the the good times and the bad times, is for that moment that you're on stage, uh, performing, and looking out and seeing the smiles on people's faces uh, it's, and it's not always smile sometimes sometimes it, it, it's taking people on an emotional journey with you and I think that what we do does that uh, as well as anything because the musics that we play both came from a very pure place a very wholesome place uh, it, it, they're very they're very uh, they're, they're rooted in, uh, in, in in very humble uh, beginnings, you know, from from like the soul of people who made music without really knowing what they were doing. They had to make this music, and uh, and and I th I think that that's what we capture when we play live. player and I'm at Bonnaroo, uh, 10th annual ba Bonnaroo Music Festival. I've been here probably five or six of them, I'm not exactly sure. They've given me a, a chance to come here in different um, with different musicians. It's really been special. I think the first time was with Edgar Meyer and we played on Sunday and I believe it was the first year and um, it, it had been so hot um, all through the festival and when we played after a little while it started to rain and the audience seemed to think we were responsible for it. As in, you know, They were like, woo, thank you, thank you, Ben and So we were like, well, okay. But the unfortunate part is that the rain got into the, the tent that was over the monitor board and caved it in and the whole monitor board went underwater and so uh, suddenly there was smoke coming out of the monitor board we're playing away it's like uh oh monitors cut off we can't hear anything so we kept playing for a while and the audience is like woo, and, and we're, we're like we can't hear each other and then finally we figured out that there was a front fill facing the audience that was connected to the house PA and we turned it around to face us and when we could hear each other we finished the set that way <laughs> I'm the 
only one in the band that's been before, and it was I think three years ago as a festival goer. So it's kind of kind of a dream come true to actually be playing it. It's as I don't think it's really hit any of us that we're playing Bonnaroo yet. We're still we've already played, and we still can't like comprehend that we've played Bonnaroo. It's awesome. The love of music in the audience was just so much fun and so so encouraging for sure. Nice. We confess, we're looking for you, we're gonna find you, we're gonna find you So you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that homeboy oh, oh, oh. He's in your window, he's snatching your people up Trying to rip them, so you better hide skins, hide you out Hide skins, hide you out, hide skins, hide you out Now's your husband's curse, we're putting everybody out here You don't have to come and confess, we're looking for you It's kind of funny because it's it's made me realize why Bonnaroo is so special, being an artist. We, we play a lot of festivals all over the U.S., like South by Southwest and Next Big Nashville and CMJ in New York and all this stuff. And I think that a after actually camping out and like dealing with all of the no showering, hardly any water and like all the heat and all the, the mud and the dirt and stuff, it's made me realize that this is like the one festival that that like the people that come here like absolutely love music more than anybody else. And I think we've realized that just by like the way the crowd watches our music. Chinese piece and you could see everybody was grooving and just having a good time and it was really about the gesture that was happening rather than any specific one meaning behind it and I think that's kind of it I mean everything's mixing in the air out here all the sounds and the people and the sweat and it's you know so all you kind of get is the gestures of things and it's pretty cool if you cover that many different pieces of the world and you put one show on it it's it a very memorable experience <laughs>
people, if you're out there, Ashley Capps, the founder of Bonnaroo, uh, I don't know if he'll ever see this, but thank you so much for this amazing experience. Every year I come here and I get a chance to escape reality a little bit. And, and um, it's beautiful. So thank you, Ashley Capps and everybody at AC Entertainment and Superfly Productions. Those are the people that like put on the whole, the whole thing. And Clean Vibes, they're the ones that clean up this place. So they are amazing. So thank you. That's one last thing I wanted to say. Thank you to everybody that makes this place awesome and green at the same time. Hey!